A normal car can carry several of them and stay safely behind the front line. They're small and easy to transport. But this box doesn't contain a piece of sophisticated military tech. It's a simple drone that could be bought in any electronics shop around the world. Here in Ukraine, they have become an important tool in the war. We use these consumer drones because they have good cameras and good technical specifications. The only thing we do is remove some of the limitations from the software. Drones like these often have limits on their speed, altitude or range. Sometimes their systems also block them from places like airports. Ukrainian programmers hack the software to remove these limits and send them into enemy territory. It's much cheaper and safer than traditional aerial reconnaissance. Our goal is to identify the enemy, if possible in real time, so we can guarantee we hit the target we've seen without harming civilians. Aerial pictures like these showing strikes have become common in this war. Both sides use essentially the same drones, but the Ukrainians say they've had a disadvantage. Most consumer drones are made by the Chinese company DJI, which also makes a tool called Aeroscope to track drones and their pilots. Ukraine says DJI only gives it to the Russians. Aeroscope can see which model and the coordinates of the drone, its trajectory, and also the starting point where it will return to when called back. The reconnaissance unit gives these coordinates to the artillery so they can target the pilot. DJI denies favoring the Russians and Ukrainian army hackers are now reprogramming the drones so they can't be detected. They've even developed gadgets so the drones can drop small explosives. <laughs> 